Hey guys, what's going on? It's Main here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be going over my top five favorite maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. And just a disclaimer, I'm only doing the ones that I played originally on the original consoles. I was never able to play the original Black Ops DLC maps, so the majority of the maps are on Black Ops 2. This is just my opinion, obviously, but I want to know your favorite maps in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and to leave a like if you enjoyed. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. And then my least favorite maps between Black Ops 1 and 2 has to be Barry. So the map when it first released was an interesting one. I personally like the idea of the map, but the execution of it made it seem just a little bit too easy. Everyone has said the same thing about the map over and over again, so I won't bore you with the details that you already know. But I have poured many hours into this map, and the Easter egg is a new take Triarch went to take, and it's mind blowing. Even though Max's ending is the canon ending, it was an interesting way to do the zombies Easter egg. And because of the way Barry plays is why I feel like the map was overlooked. It's a good map that has its flaws and its easy moments, but more so it's a map that is just fun to play when you don't want to challenge and just want to relax, and that's why it comes in at my number 5 spot. So coming in at number 4, we have Town. So as we all know, Transit was a bus wreck, <laughs> and nothing came good with the map except for, well, town itself. Uh, the small map provides perks essential to survival, as well as two box locations that move to provide a change of strategy if you haven't gotten the Mark II yet. Uh, the only setbacks I feel this map has is, of course, the fire and the fact that there are only three areas to open instead of the laundry room or the area behind Double Tap. If those areas were available to open, I feel this map would have had endless possibilities to survive and loads of playtime. But unfortunately, this wasn't the case, and because of the PS3 and the Xbox 360 being not as powerful as this game needed it to be, this great underrated map did not reach its full potential, and that's why it is in my number four spot. We need to bring right to this dark place. So we're getting into the top three now, and we have Kino Der Toten. So there's a lot to say about Kino, as many hours that I played it on this map, I still get chills when I played the original version because of how damn good they made the atmosphere. It's an abandoned theater that truly feels abandoned. It makes you think about how many people were in the lobby area and what experiments went on here. In the beginning of the map, it seems like a normal map until you reach the stage and see the teleporter and the barrels containing over six experiments. This map is where I got my start in zombies and because it is so simple, it makes it a fun map to play when you just want to relax and enjoy a game of zombies. And that's why it comes in at my number three. So coming in at number two, we have Origins. The best easter egg, the first easter egg I completed, and the Black Ops 2 version of Origins is honestly my favorite one, mostly because I miss some of the weapons Black Ops 2 provided. The Mauser possibly being one of the best, if not the best starting pistol in Call of Duty Zombies, 1911 is obviously amazing. This map has it all. Amazing gameplay, great introduction to full one to weapon system that truly made an impact for what zombies would become. It was also the second map to allow you to pick up multiple parts at once, which was amazing after Transit, Die Rise, and Barry did one of the did not allow you to pick up more than one part, which was annoying to say the least. Origins is one of those maps that unfortunately suffers from tight spaces, and it's not a new player friendly map unless you play the remastered version on BO3. Mostly because in order to defeat the Panzer quick and efficiently, you will need the staffs to do so considerably the fire staff. Not the best not the best map on my list, but it comes in at a close second for how good the gameplay is and for all the features it introduced. So at number one, I feel like all of you saw this one coming. It's obviously die rise. <laughs> Uh, just kidding. Could you imagine someone liking Die Rise on BO2? <laughs> it's Mob of the Dead. Mob introduced something that became prominent in Shadows of Evil, and that, my friends, is Afterlife. 
Afterlife served a great purpose, mostly because of the fact that it was your quick revive, essentially. You were able to carry other perks you wanted without having to revive as an essential one in your slot. Jug was obviously one, speed was another, double tap and electric chair were great together in my opinion. The other things that make this map great has to be the weapons they introduced. The Hell's Retriever and the Tommy Gun were beautiful additions and it was an amazing weapon to use for points. And it fit during the time period. The Uzi was an amazing addition as well for points as well as damage. Not to mention the Death Machine and the AK-47 in the Mystery Box. They really didn't have to go out like this with the weaponry, but they did. Oh, also the Blunder Gap, perhaps one of the best Wonder Weapons of all time, except BF4, we don't talk about that travesty. Mob also had a great easter egg with the cycle never ending, and only has to end by a PvP event at the end. It was a great addition to the game, and it worked so well with the zombies. The only thing about Mob is the fact that it's not casual friendly either. Its tight spaces may prove difficult to the casual player, but it doesn't ruin the experience of the map one bit. That's why I think it's my favorite map between Black Ops 1 and 2, and that's why it comes in at my number one spot. So that'll be it for this one guys, I really hope you enjoyed and I'd like to know your favorite maps in BO1 and BO2 in the comment section below. Do you agree with what I had? Do you disagree? Tell in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more zombie content. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys.